Take a look at this ampule. It contains 100 grams of cesium. Cesium melts at 29 degrees Celsius and turns into gold color liquid. Actually, pure cesium does not wet out glass. For example, this sample of cesium is 99% pure and it wets out glass just a little bit. Also, cesium this pure does not form any sort of beautiful crystals when it hardens. And here is a sample of extra pure cesium. Such cesium just barely wets out glass, however, it does form some nice looking crystals. Now let's see what happens when I break an ampule of cesium. The reaction of cesium with air oxygen is exothermic, thus it melts rapidly and flows out of the broken ampule, but there is no combustion whatsoever. Many of you have heard that cesium is the most reactive metal, which instantly combusts in air. But that is not the case. Instant combustion of cesium in air is far from common. In fact, it may not combust at all. Instead, it may just oxidize quickly, forming cesium peroxide and superoxide. Cesium darkens fast. This dark layer consists mostly of cesium superoxide, which is orange in its pure state. It reacts with water violently, forming oxygen and hydrogen peroxide. Take a look at these ampules, they are all made of strong glass and provided with a special breakable glass seal. To show you a few chemical reactions with cesium, I'll break this seal and pour out cesium into mineral oil. This mineral oil is not fresh. It was used to store potassium, that's why it has so little dissolved oxygen that cesium reacts with very violently. In fresh mineral oil, cesium spoils quite fast. Mm -hmm. 
So let's start with the reaction of a small piece of cesium and water. We'll proceed with fuming nitric acid. Here is another fuming acid, fluorosulfuric acid. Now I'll drop bromine on cesium. And here I am dropping iodine monochloride on cesium. And this is iodine trichloride.
the reaction, we will try to reduce iodine from iodine monochloride using the solution of cesium in liquid ammonia. Like all other alkali metals, cesium is soluble in liquid ammonia. In liquid ammonia, cesium ionizes to give cesium cation an electron. The electron is solvated with ammonia. This solvated electron gives reducing properties to the solution of cesium in liquid ammonia. Now let's add this solution to iodine monochloride and see what happens. And in the end, I'd like to give you a piece of advice. Don't store cesium in chloroform, ever. Thanks for watching, guys! I hope you liked this video, your feedback is what makes me keep going, and the support of my dear patrons is the reason why I can make these cool videos about chemistry. So you might as well join these awesome people if you like. Thank you for staying with me all this time. See you in the next video.